Have you been wondering this whole time what the integral of log to the base e of x is? I know I have. So today we're going to work out what this is. And to do that, we're going to differentiate this one first. This is a uh, beginner's guide to what's called integration by parts, right? So we're going to do integration by recognition, okay? So this is the beginner version of that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is differentiate this function up here, okay? So we're given this function, x log x, log e to the x, and we're going to differentiate that one first, okay? So uh, let's do that. So let's start with, okay, so we want d of x log to the base e of x dx. Okay, so that's we're going to do product rule here. So differentiate the first one. It's just 1. 1 times log to the base e of x plus x times the derivative of log x, which is just 1 on x. So this is log to the base e of x plus x times x is 1. Provided x is not zero. Beautiful, excellent. All right, so we've got our, we've got this, the derivative of this. So the trick here is saying, well, if I take the derivative of this one, I get this one. So if I integrate this one, I must get back to this one. So I know that the integral of log to the base e of x plus one dx, so this is the anti-differentiated, this, I should get back to where I started from, has to equal x log to the base e of x. That's nice. Now, I can also break these up because it's got a big plus in the middle of it. So there's two terms in here, so I can do the terms individually. dx plus the integral of 1 dx. Okay, that's just splitting it up log to the base e of x, okay? We'll worry about plus c's in a minute, okay? So now where are we at? Okay, so we've got this equation here. I've got this integral plus this integral. Because this, so if I minus this integral over here, I get log to the base e of x dx is equal to x log to the base e of x minus this integral. 1 dx. And that's it. All I have to do is integrate 1 dx and I've got the antiderivative of log to the base e of x. So this is just x log e x minus this integral, just x plus c. And I'm finished. That is an amazing thing. Now we've got x log x minus x plus c. That's the integral of uh, log to the base e of x. That's pretty cool. Let's do another one. Okay. Differentiate. We want to differentiate. Let's do x inverse sine of x. And then we want to find, I always want to know what the integral of inverse sine is. Let's try that one. Okay, so d of x inverse sine of x dx equals, okay, we're going to do product rule again. So we're just going to have 1 times inverse sine, inverse sine of x plus x times the derivative of inverse sine of x, which is one on the square root of one minus x squared. Okay, got that so far, I think we're right. So let's set up our, we know that if we anti-differentiate this, we should get back to where we started. So inverse sine of x, now I can split it up right at the start if I want to, plus x on, 1 minus x squared dx. That has to equal this one. x inverse sine of x. 
let's rearrange it just move this one over this side so inverse sine of x dx has to equal x inverse sine of x minus this integral x on 1 minus x squared dx now can I take the derivative of this should be able to let's make a u substitution uh, if I make a u substitution here, let u equal 1 minus x squared, therefore du dx is negative 2x, okay, so negative 2x, I could put du dx in here, or I could put negative half du dx in there, okay, so what I really want in here is, um, let's go negative one half du dx over u to the half dx, those dx's cancel, and now I've got plus one half u to the negative half du, Okay, I can do that. Let's go with plus one half of, um, add one to the power, gives me u to the half, divide by the new power gives me two. Okay, that half cancels out with that. Put a plus c on the end, put my u back in, and I should end up with plus uh, the square root of 1 minus x squared. I think that's it. So let's uh, tidy that up a little bit. I'll put it over here. So the inverse sine, I've made that a little messy, haven't I? dx equals x times inverse sine of x. Now I'm hoping that plus square root of 1 minus x squared should be that integral. So the integral of inverse sine should be that. Let me just check and see if that's what I got when I did it. Oh no, I did a different problem. Okay, let's assume that's correct. I think it is. So there we go. Beautiful.